right? You know, the tantric can do mantra japa on akshamala also. There are total of 54 letters, like um, a, a, e, e, u, u, um, a, are there. So one can do om namah shivai a, om namah shivai a, om namah shivai e, om namah shivai u, om namah shivai ka, om namah shivai ka, om namah shivai ga, and by the time he will complete it, it will be 54. He will do it again. It will be one's rate mantras. He don't have to touch his fingers. He don't have to use karmala also or any other mala as such. This is the process. This is a very powerful process. You put every letter of Varnamala with the mantra while worshipping the goddess. The god. This makes you very powerful. This is one of the most powerful way of chanting the mantra. Because you have lost the dependency on a particular sense organ. This is your one step to freedom. The happiness of touch you have left. So one step closer to not interacting with senses because it is interaction with senses what binds you to the world. Right? But still, leave the tantric and the ascetic aside, normal person, in that you and me are. So we should get God through all our sense organs. So you use the touch to touch the deity. To touch the sibling, to touch the idol, or touch the mala, touch the feet of the god. You also use the sense organ of sight to see the photo of the deity. The facility of speaking, to speak the mantra, the facility of thinking, to contemplate on a mantra, to contemplate on deity. And all of these things you do. And maximum of these sense organs are used to achieve God when you visit a temple. You touch the God also, you see the God also, you talk about the God also. So almost every sense is working then. You're thinking about the God also. So four or five of the sense organs in the process of achieving God, you meet in a temple. Most importantly, the idol or the photo that you have in your home is not pran pratishti. So that is not, ex that is not connected to the energy source. So there are two things. The Pran Pratishtit idol, specifically I am talking of a Shiddha temple where many people visit, is like a pipe of water where the water is continuously flowing and you just have to, you know, like you just have to touch it and you can touch the water. The temple at your home is a pipe that is connected to water source but the water is not there. So you will have to probably use a suction pump for the water to come. And that suction pump is your mantra chanting. So after an hour long of mantra chanting, few drops of water come out of that pump and you are satisfied with that because you are drinking water every day. But if you are not drinking water every day and you have to drink water once a day for the complete year like camels do, then you do by going to Tirtha. Maximum of the sense organs are used to realize God and because many of them are being used at once, it makes you free from those karmas that you have performed through your sense organs also. That also directs your sense organs towards God as well. Because if you have not directed your sense organ of listening towards God, that means you are not listening to the stories, bhajans, songs of God, then you are listening to anything that is a pap. Right? Whether you are listening to a story, listening about God and listening about knowledge are the two things that is not pap. Other than that, listening the story or listening anything is a gulp. A gulp is a pap. A gulp is a sin. So only two things are there. In knowledge also, it is aparavidya. That is not a pap. Listening to paravidya is also a pap. So technically, you should not listen. This is not possible. In the world you have to live, you have to listen. You should only listen the truth. But who will dictate the sayer is saying truth or not? You can listen to a lie also. You can listen to something negative also and you cannot control it. So purification of the sense organs are needed because sense organs can commit crime even without your knowledge. And this purification of sense organs happens by visiting temple. So those who generally visit temple keep on touching the God, keep on taking a bath nearby the temple. They become so purified they, that they don't get attached to such things of you know, such Malas of sense organs. So this is why it is. And this gives you a balance. 
this gives you a balance between things otherwise there is a very thin line of touching a child with love when this touching the child with love turns into molestation a little bit only small distinction is there that it is just the use of that indriya of touching to make sure that it never goes that bound it never crosses that particular boundary that your thinking can be strict your thinking remains strict but it does not become pain inflicting who will demarcate that your strictness your obeying the rule you having your ethics and morals are not cruelty on others no one can dictate it at least you cannot but to make sure that it does not become cruelty for other and even if it becomes you are not responsible for it you have to continuously visit a temple this gives you purification which is strongly needed otherwise your ethics and morals can be a pain for anyone hai na for example if there is some langar bandara happening i don't eat from it i don't eat from it for the particular reason i think it is for those who are devoted to the deity first of all that i am not so i should not eat point one secondarily it is for less privileged first then for me so until and unless i make sure that every less privileged in the area have taken the food how can i take it maybe by my by me eating a plate of it one uh, unprivileged person if they don't eat then i will occur the same so because of these multiple reasons i don't get it but who knows who knows that the one who is distributing the food had to waste a cup because i did not take it because he was not finding anyone to accept the donation so mera ethic moral to meri jagah pe theek hai lekin dusre ko pain inflict bhi to kar sakta hai kabhi bhi kar sakta hai so to make sure that i am not present at a place where my ethics morals standards become a problem for the other person i have to visit a temple so that the sattva is there <coughs> so so what you will generally notice that those who constantly keep on visiting a temple generally save themselves from negative conditions negative scenarios they are not present at that particular place where there is a high probability of something bad happening right sir uh sir mere uh, do teen questions hai sir what will be the ideal size to uh, uh, for fiyant to be kept at home 